Hello, welcome at my home. I will show you the issue that I have. So, first of all, my workflow, the Blu-ray disc UBK80 LG is connected through HDMI to my power hump, an Onkyo TXNR545. HDMI CEC is activated on the Onkyo. Then from my Onkyo, I have an HDMI cable to my TV which is a Sony Android TV, and CEC is activated, ARC is activated so that my TV can send back the audio to the amp. Nevertheless, in the bug that I'm showing to you today, even if I remove the television out of the workflow, you will still have the issue. So the, the issue is really just between the LG player and the Onkyo power amp, and I will show that to you. So the bug depends on the power up sequence. The bug appears if I power up the Blu-ray player LG first, so I will do it. So I power up the LG player, I wait, it is stabilized. To show you the test, um, I use a, a CD, an audio CD, just for the simplicity. Um, so it's a CD of CR that is currently in the machine. Now I power, I power up, well, it has been powered up So the Onkyo amplifier. Okay. And I start playing using the play button on the LG player. So I click on it. Seems good, we have the audio, but if I stop, on the remote and then click play look at what's happening the power amp lose the blu-ray input it seems that when clicking on play the blu-ray player sends some things to the onkyo to ask him to, to switch the input which is not good because i'm losing the audio i'm losing losing my uh, my music so of course i can re-ask the, the, the amplifier to switch back to the LG player. And that's fine, but uh, it's not convenient. Especially if I want to temporarily pause my music or stop my music, so I click on stop. Then I want to play it back, I click on play. And again, I've lost my input on the amplifier. So that's really, really not convenient. Not that the bug appears whatever it is, an audio CD or a Blu-ray disc or a DVD. Um, the bug does not appear if the power amp is powered first. Um, so it's really a matter of sequence and LG Blu-ray player. Not also that with another LG player, the BD570 um, that I used previously, I did not have this issue. So the issue really comes together with the UBK80 that seems to send something wrong on the HDMI. Note also that if I deactivate CEC on the power amp, the problem disappears. Uh, nevertheless, I cannot remove CEC totally on the power amp because I need that uh, for my connection with the television. So I need CEC on on the power amp um, and I need it to, to work properly with the UBK. AD. Thank you for your attention and don't hesitate to ask me more videos if needed.